Hey everybody, it's John with Freshwater Systems. Today I want to talk to you about boil water advisories or boil water notices. Now there's three different types of advisories or notices that you may receive from your water supplier, your community provider of water. It's a boil water advisory. The next one would be a don't drink advisory. That's, a, that's a, an advisory that would be, there's something in the water supply that boiling won't eliminate. So they don't want you to drink it even if you boiled it. And the third one is a don't use advisory. Now this is pretty serious and incredibly rare. This is when the water quality is so poor via a chemical problem that they don't want you to even get in the water, shower with it, and, and most of all, don't drink it. Today, we're going to talk about boil water advisories and boil water notices because they're the most common. You'll these things can happen when line pressure uh, drops in a system. There's always going to be some living organisms in the distribution system. And when pressure drops, these organisms can get into the water flow. Another, probably the most common reason for a boil water advisory is a line break. Let's talk about boil water advisories versus boil water notices. An advisory is the water utility is worried that something could be in the water supply that could potentially make you sick. And these are living organisms, bacteriologic issues. They test for coliform or fecal coliform, better known as E. coli. If they suspect there may be some problems, they issue a boil water advisory. If they know there is a problem, they issue a boil water notice. The most common, boil water advisories. A line break, it could be that some debris and some stuff from the road could have gotten into the water supply. And they want to tell you to be careful. And being careful under a boil water advisory is to boil your water before you consume it. So. Let's talk about what you do if you see a boil water advisory. Now, I do want to mention that the communication of these advisories typically happens through the local news station. If you watch TV news a lot, then you may see the advisory. They may print it in a local newspaper. If you read the newspaper a lot, you may see the advisory. And the reason I'm bringing this up is there's a good chance you may not see the boil water advisory. And I just want you to keep that in mind as we talk about what to do when you hear the boil water advisory. First thing is to, anytime that you have a boil water advisory in front of you, you want to boil your water before you drink it. And boiling it is putting it on the stove and getting it to a, roiling, a rolling vigorous boil. And when that starts, time it for one full minute. Well, now you want to cool it off before you drink it um, and maybe put it in a, a glass jar or some kind of a glass container and put it in a refrigerator. And you're going to want to use that water for anything that you're going to drink or make coffee with or, or any kind of a beverage. You're going to want to use that water to brush your teeth. Uh, you don't want to get any unboiled water in your mouth. That's the bottom line. Because if there's organisms in there that could pot potentially make you sick, that's how you're going to get it. Now, this includes water you're going to give to your pets. Make sure you've boiled that. Um, doing laundry is okay. You don't have to, to worry about laundry getting bacteria. Uh, taking a shower is okay, but, but be careful. Keep your mouth closed so you don't get any of that water in and drink it because again, that's where the, the living organisms are gonna be. Okay, now when the boil alert has been lifted, there's a few things you wanna do to kind of flush all the water out of your house, out of all of your fixtures and your appliances. So you wanna run all your cold water spigots for a couple of minutes. Uh, run the hot water spigots for a little bit longer because we've got a lot more water to turn out of the hot water heater. Uh, we want to flush the ice machine by making and discarding a few batches of ice. 
Uh, if you have a water softener, you want to put that through a regeneration cycle. If you have a point of use water filter, like a drinking water system under the counter, you probably need to change those filters. Not probably, you do need to change those filters. And the reason is, if there were living organisms in the water, they will get stopped by the carbon that's in those systems and they will flourish because living organisms and the stuff that carbons grab a hold of makes a great little growing terrarium, if you will. So you want to get rid of the filters on your drinking water system and put brand new ones in. Uh, it's always a good idea to change filters after a boil water advisory. So basically that's what you need to do anytime a boil water advisory or notice has been issued in your community water system. If you live on a small system, not one of the big metro markets, um, the chances of you seeing a boil water advisory are much higher. About 80% of the boil water advisories issued in the country come from small water systems. Uh, so if, if that's where you live, you probably ought to pay attention to the local news just to make sure you get those advisories and you know what to do. Now there is a way that you can protect your family's water by installing a ultraviolet disinfection system. These units are awesome and people that live on well supplies that potentially could have a bacteria issue all the time, they rely on these types of systems to keep their water safe. On city water, you could install one of these as an insurance policy. So if a boil water advisory is lifted or if a boil water notice is given, you could be very comfortable that all the water coming to the house, whether it has living organisms in it or not, will pass through this ultraviolet disinfection system and you and your family are safe. If you'd like to know more about ultraviolet, go to our website and look up UV disinfection. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Take care.